Hey guys, what I have for you is a chatty get ready with me type video. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm just getting ready for an event. Well, I'm not, it's like an event that's happening tomorrow, but I'm actually going to Atlanta for it. And so I figured while I'm getting ready, I'll film a little video talking about it. And I guess it'll be like a little chatty, get ready with me type video. I've never filmed something like this. So if it goes bad, I might just include clips of this in my vlog rather than an actual standalone video. But we'll see. So there we go. I don't really know, like, to be honest, I haven't really watched too many get ready with me type videos, but so I'm using a NARS foundation. It's a liquid foundation. It's called Sheer Glow. I'm not like super bougie about the products I use on my face, but I do like or prefer um, higher brand. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Whatever, like higher quality type stuff for foundation just because I feel like it does make a difference. And when I went to the Ulta store, I ran into a girl who I knew there and she sold this to me. So before I put that on, I almost forgot, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Hangover um, Replenishing Face Primer. I don't even usually use primer because it I don't really see a difference usually, but I do feel like this helps my makeup to stay on longer. It, I get less shiny when I'm using it. I look a little bit less old. Now I got some bags under my eyes and stuff. As you can see, I'm basically out of this, so I'm gonna see if I can. Oh God, I mean that, that works too. So there we go. This is like a little bit more than I would normally use on my face, but it just squeezed on out. Y'all, I know any makeup artists who come across this video, y'all are gonna be like screaming silently, but that's okay. So I just smear it all over my face until it feels like it's been worked in. Oh yeah, so anyways, let me chat about where I'm going. So tomorrow, I am going to an Abraham Hicks Law of Attraction workshop. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited for it. The best way I can explain it to somebody who's never heard of Abraham Hicks is that it's a spiritual workshop or convention. Um, so <laughs> I do feel kind of nervous talking about this um, for a video just because I don't really talk about these kinds of, I guess I've never really spoken about my um, you know, spiritual beliefs on YouTube, you know? And I don't like talk about this with a lot of people besides people who I think will understand this kind of thing. But hey, you know, YouTube's for sharing and for being personal, and so that's why I'm making this video. Or at least that's how I see YouTube. Basically, okay, I believe, I'm not like a super religious person, but I am very spiritual. And I believe that each of us are here for the purpose of fulfilling the goals of like our higher selves. And so some people might call that your, your soul, you know what I mean, or your intuition, who you were before you came to this earth in this lifetime um and so basically i think like the real goal is to love right like unconditionally be love receive love give love always act in a way that reflects that I'm not saying that i do a great job of that but it i definitely do think like that is the purpose all of uh, the life lessons that we learn really come back to that and so actually there's this woman her name is esther hicks and through the practice of meditation, she was able to access within herself um, or basically like open herself up into being like a channel for, um, I guess what some might call like ascended masters, but basically like, or source energy. You know what I mean? Like um, basically like, I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> I'll come back to it because I'm kind of distracted, but okay, anyways, moving on from from that and just like talking about my makeup again real quick, I just applied this NARS foundation with a brush from NYX, and now I'm going to be putting my concealer on. I freaking love the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer. This is, oh my god, I have used it basically until it's unusable, there's nothing I'm like twisting it, there's nothing coming out. Back to Abraham Hicks. So like I'm at work, I'm allowed to listen to my headphones on my phone while I'm working. 
and so basically all day long while I'm at work I am oh by the way I'm using a toothpick to dig out <laughs> the very last bits of this concealer but um yeah I basically all day long at work I'm listening to these like spiritual talks by Abraham Hicks and Abraham is just a word or like a name meant to give into like multiple um non-physical beings that are offering answers to the questions that we have um and basically it's freaking awesome you know there are a lot of really cool topics um that come up the most common ones are topics of like how do you open up yourself to abundance in terms of like material wealth how do you open yourself up into physical well-being and um how do we find like our love our soulmate so to speak i mean not saying that there's just one but yeah digging this concealer out of the thing it worked so much better than i thought it would so that's awesome but anyway um i have been going through through it in the past couple of months it's just like it's been a whirlwind of arguments and upset feelings in the past few months and i have been like really down on myself i'm just feeling really sad honestly about it all and then on top of that, I wasn't super happy in my relationship. So I ended up breaking up with my boyfriend and it's just been like a lot. Like I've been feeling super alone, honestly. But I know that being alone is a good thing because it's offering me the time that I need to kind of sort myself out and figure out how I got to this place and how to move forward. Because I have all these goals that I want to accomplish, you know, YouTube being one of them, but also I have a degree in journalism and I'm starting a magazine. So, you know, follow my magazine's Instagram. I've been just like in a period of like a lot of self reflection and listening to Abraham Hicks basically eight hours a day straight is has been a very healing experience for me and it's just like answered a lot of questions for me and made me feel like feel better you know what I mean Abraham Hicks is having a workshop in Atlanta tomorrow so like they go on tours well like Esther Hicks she goes on tours across the nation and on these tours and cruises basically what happens is it's a bunch of people who are like-minded you know a little bit of that free spirit hippy dippy believing in this kind of stuff we come together with questions that we have or intentions of things we hope to learn during this um, time together and then basically she just chooses people based on their energy based on how open they are to receiving these lessons and basically channeling that energy and everyone in the room benefits from it and you know like everyone's questions are answered in that way so she'll choose some people and not everyone gets to go up and be in the hot seat so to speak but um overall everyone's answers or everyone's questions are answered and so i bought a ticket to go to this program and my mom is coming with me too which is really cool and really exciting because um my younger brother and i were the ones who are a little bit more hippy dippy weirdos and we're into this like spiritual shit and we've just been kind of teaching our mom along the way as we learn things and so it's really awesome that she's decided to come along with me so that is what I'm getting ready for. Um, I hope I explained that pretty well. So I want to, rather than just understand all of these lessons and teachings and, and like why I'm here, etc., I want to know how it feels to understand these things and like be in a room with the kind of energy, this like world creating energy that all these people really believe in. Specifically things that I would like to learn about more tomorrow is I want to know how to relax so that I can, you know, like let go of self-doubt and trying to rush along my process and just let let it happen, like allowing these things to happen for me rather than trying to force them. You know, I have big goals like making this magazine, making this YouTube channel happen, um, moving out of my mom's house and like just being completely on my own, finding my true love you know what I mean and knowing how to handle how to handle a relationship like that because I know how to handle a relationship with 
myself. And then also forgiveness. Forgiveness is a huge thing. I want to know how to let go and just forgive things and forget about these like totally traumatic, emotionally damaging memories that I have because I just like tend to hold on to things that hurt my feelings very easily. I'm a very sensitive person and I, I just don't want to hold on to those hurt feelings anymore. It really damages my relationships with people. that was basically my get ready with me video i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys enjoyed the topic of discussion for the day and um yep yeah, that's all thanks for watching okay i think the camera just turned off but i turned it back on again um so questions that i'm or you know things that i'm hoping to get out of this experience is